proportional or not using graphs. Before I talk to you about how we show if something's proportional or not using graphs, what I want to do is tell you a little known chicken fact. The largest chicken egg ever laid was 12 ounces or three quarters of a pound and almost 12 and a quarter inches around. Oh, it sounds painful to lay. All right, proportion, proportionality or not. Looking at graph number one, we see the distance traveled in a certain amount of hours. If we put these down as ratio, we see that the car traveled 50 miles in one hour, 100 miles in two hours, and 150 miles in three hours. Is this relationship proportional? Well, 50 divided by 1 is 50, 100 divided by 2 is 50, and 150 divided by 3 is 50. The rate the car traveled was 50 miles per hour, or 50 miles in one hour. The unit rate is the same, so these are proportional. Notice the line is straight on the graph. Let us look at example two. This is the total weight in tons of four cars when combined. One car weighed one ton. Two cars, car one and car two together, weigh one and seven tenths of a ton. And three cars put together, car one, two, and three, weigh three and nine tenths of a ton. And finally, four cars together weigh four and four tenths of a ton. Are those ratios the same? Is the relationship proportional? Well, one to one gives you one. 1 ton per car. The second one is, if we divide, 0.85 tons per car. Are these the same? No. 3.9 divided by 3 is 1 and 3 tenths tons per car. That's not equal. It's not equal to that one. And 4 and 4 tenths divided by 4 is 1.1 tons per car is the average weight. These are not proportional. None of them are equal. And one way you could quickly see it is the line connecting the points is not a straight line. When you have a straight line, that shows the relationships are proportional, the unit rate is the same, but when the line is curved or not otherwise not straight, then you have unit rates which are different and the relationships between the points are not proportional.